We welcome in MLB Network and 98.7 The Fan radio host Rich Herrera. And Rich, you have to be on edge right now when Joe Madden turns to his bullpen. The Rays pitching is last in the American League after the seventh inning. Is this a situation of teams going through peaks and valleys or are they just not that good? Well, you look at the bullpen for the Rays. One of the things last year, it was the key to their success. Starting pitching was solid. Fernando Rodney comes in and he pitched better than he ever had before in his life. Remember, he was a guy kind of claimed off the scrap heap from the Anaheim Angels, the Tigers before that. He's got a great fastball, throws that fastball, gets ahead for a strike, and then he's got a Bugs Bunny changeup that people swing and miss at. This year, hasn't been able to get the fastball over. People are really starting to hammer him. They're also not chasing pitches the way they did before. He's scuffling. Is it the real Fernando Rodney we saw last year, or is this the real Fernando Rodney from the Angels, the Tigers, and other teams that have given up on him? Joe Madden says he's got all the confidence in the world in him. I talked to Alex Cobb after the ball game today. He talked about him. He said, we have all the confidence in the world with him. For the fans, they're starting to get a little nervous. For the guys in the dugout, they're still believing in Fernando Rodney. And they said the best thing he has is a short memory. Come back and throw again tomorrow. With Rodney right now, it seems like he's elevating the ball quite a bit, and he's got to get that ball down. I'm really worried about the fact that he pitched in the Caribbean Series. He pitched in the World Baseball Classic. Is he tired right now? That's an issue I think the Rays will have to sit back and evaluate at some point in time. Well, everybody wants to bring up the playing in the, in the World Baseball Classic, right. but the thing is, there's nothing wrong with him physically. He's still throwing the ball 100 miles an hour. He's still throwing with the same velocity. The problem is, is he's not getting the fastball over and he's having to abandon. Normally, he'll throw about 62% fastballs. He's gotten away from that this year because he hasn't been able to control the fastball. Guys also know because he doesn't have fastball command, they're not swinging at pitches outside the zone. So right now they're not chasing, they're being patient, and they're letting the game come to him, and that's where he's getting into trouble. I think teams are starting to sit on his changeup right about now as well. The Rays are back above 500 at 25 and 24. Let's take a look at the current ALE standings. They're now five games back behind the Yankees in the division, and the Yankees are playing without stars Derek Jeter, Alex Rodriguez, and Mark Teixeira. Do you think come September the Rays are playing for the wild card, wild card or in the division mix. Right now, Joe Madden and everybody there is going to say we're playing for the division. Right now, five back behind the Yankees. The Yankees are going to get better, but they're going to get older. When Jeter comes back, Rodriguez comes back, Euclid is getting ready to go, Teixeira is ready to go. I was over at Dale Mabry the other day over at the minor league complex. They had all these people over there because most of the stars of the Yankees <laughs> are back there playing in minor league games right now. They're going to get better, but then these are also older players out there. They've done such a great job. Vernon Wells coming over from the Angels. Lyle Overbay was the last cut of the Boston Red Sox. Yankees are going to get better, but do they have the pitching to match up with everybody else? Baltimore is my team to beat right now. I picked Toronto to begin the season. They're nowhere right now, and I don't see them going anywhere. Baltimore is going to stay strong, but they need an everyday number one ace. They don't have one yet. Boston's continuing to play well. For the Rays, it's a very winnable division. So right now, keep going. Five back. All these are very important. You're going to Baltimore. You're going to Boston. you got to win those series. Yeah, absolutely, dude. When you look at the Baltimore hitting order, I mean, top to bottom, it is just strong. Rays are playing excellent ball offensively right now. The problem with their front two starters is David Price going to come back healthy. That's a question that we really have to wonder about. I mean, he's going to be out much longer with his tricep injury. Well, he hasn't even started throwing yet, so you're still looking at do they have to send him out for rehab, do they have to go do something else with him? So you're probably looking two or three weeks before you even get a plan to start setting a date for him to come back. That's why what Matt Moore is doing right now is so important, and Alex Cobb, what he did today is even more important. I asked Alex after the ball game today, talk to me about feeding into each other, and they're starting to feed into each other. Whatever Moore does, Alex Cobb is very competitive. He wants to set the same tone, and then they're going to turn it over to Odorizzi tomorrow against the Marlins. I want to flip the script a little bit here. Let's talk about umpiring. I don't know if it's social media putting them under a microscope right now, but it seems to be at an all-time worst. When you look at the situation twice in this series against mm -hmm. the Yankees, we've seen blown calls at first base. Now, what is the problem? Do they need to change location on the diamond, or does instant replay need to be put more into effect? Well, there's two things. Yes, absolutely, instant replay needs to come into effect. The umpires, by the way, believe it or not, would like to see instant replay because they want to get these plays right. Um, if you look at what happened happens in some of these games. We're parsing, we're going through. Technology has gotten tremendously better. So now we have super slow-mo cans and we can break everything down at baseball. Sure. The umpire's actually gotten better, but now we're actually looking at them under more of a microscope. And if the technology is going to be there that we could second guess them, then they really have to use the technology to try to bring out the best in these guys and get all the plays right. And that's what everybody at baseball wants. 
He's Rich Herrera. You can catch him on the radio airwaves weekdays on 98.7 The Fan, also on MLB Network on Sirius Radio and XM. Now let's take you to Cary, North Carolina, where the University of Tampa is trying to advance in the NCAA tournament.